exactly does want to be beat like a sheep.
All right, y'all. Oop. Just got done eating breakfast. And now, again, I am off to the convention center. So yeah, um, I, like I said before, I don't know if I've said this before, but I don't, I won't record everything when I'm here, but kind of the highlights and all the big events. Same with Brony Palooza. I mean, I can't record all the songs there, because also I, I do my dance. And, uh, I got this new Pinkie Pie shirt as well. I really do like this pinky shirt. So yeah, um, it is a small size actually, but... But yeah, it still fits. And next, uh, I think I'll be, uh, going to the arcade. And I don't know what else I'll do. I'll just have to see. <laughs> it's been a fantastic trip and I kinda sad that I'm leaving today. And I'm really, really hoping I can come back next year. Hey guys, so, uh, so what I've been doing lately, the reason why I haven't been recording, is I've just been playing some video games, and, and let me tell you, boy, I am tired. <laughs> so I've been playing video games like Pokemon and, uh, Smash Brothers. The guy out there who, uh, who plugged it up at the hall, he had to put it away because apparently he's going to be leaving soon. But, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys, um, the, uh, the pinky plushie that I got. Or, ring, some of the other things that I got. Right, so uh, here is a uh, my rain my Rainbow Dash plushie. Yep, I got three uh got three plushies: a Pinky and a and a uh, Trixie a plushie. Uh, oh, sorry, I held it held it upside down. But like I said, I got a Pinky and a Trixie Trixie plushie. So really, I'm not gonna be. Uh, doing uh, much filming today since I'll be out of here in like less than two hours or so unfortunately but uh well, and also I got uh, some comics as well yep this this comic this comic and uh, this comic. So, eh, kind of curious to see how long these are. But, yep. That's what went down here at Good Over. Oh, wow. And the uh, bag already kind of tore. So, time to go ahead and. Uh, put all this good stuff away and so yeah and when I get home I will show you guys more of what I got all right guys so uh just got done uh, playing a little bit of Minecraft on uh, my Nintendo Switch now I uh, kind of like I was just sitting over there really because the person who was playing Smash up there, like I said, kind of had to pack pack it up, pack all the stuff that he, um, he did to set it up just because he had to go. But now, you know, I kind of want to go ahead and I might actually bring my suitcase. My mom and I will probably get our suitcase and actually take it with us. Uh, to the closing ceremony so that way we can get we can be the first to get our suitcases out and hopefully get a taxi cab um, at a good time so that way my mom and I can have plenty of time to get some grub at the airport and yeah and 
Yeah, and just get to the airport on time, get through security, security, at a good time. And uh, I'm already missing the Smash Brothers over there. And I'll go ahead and go over my favorite, some of my favorite things I've done here. Bernie Blues is definitely one of them. Oh, uh, what's going on here? Anyway, I uh, kind of just want to see what was going on in there. But yeah, like I said, Brony Palooza is definitely a highlight from from uh, this year. And uh, let me think what else. Oh yeah, Smash Brothers. Playing a bit of that and seeing and meeting the cast. Man, it's been a fantastic time. Okay, you know what? I'll be honest. I say this year is better than last year. Yeah, it's actually sunny out because this past weekend it was actually fairly rainy. So, yeah. Man, I'm gonna, and I really hope I can come back next year. I really do. And if, but my family and I, we might go on a cruise next summer, so that will probably take up a good amount of money as well. But, but I can always take some money out of my savings to try and get us here. I don't care if it takes up half of my savings money. I, because, like I said, I really want to come back here next year. So, yeah. And it's just been a fantastic year. And, I mean, even though the cast of the main six weren't here, other than them not being here, I must say, I say overall that this year was definitely better than last year. All right, time for a closing ceremony. Let's do it. Have you ever done this before? Never. I've never been in a crowd in front of a crowd this big. No, no. I mean, ever shaved a beard before? Oh, well, it's been about five years since I've had a beard, but yes. Oh, awesome. That way, I don't have to teach you much. Here's your, here's your weapon of choice. Awesome, Ian. Ian, take a seat. You know what? But but before we get started, before we get started. You know how short we are of thirty-three thousand dollars? Two hundred and nineteen bucks. I think that there's enough people in this crowd to come up with two hundred and nineteen dollars. You think? You think? Who wants to give a couple of bucks right here, right now, to watch this? All right, you, you, the man, right there. You take the money. You take the money right there. This gentleman right here. Them right there. <laughs> yeah, plug that sucker in. Wait some juice. No change, bills only, no change, just bills. Just bills. We'll get we'll get a final count on that in a minute. We'll get a final count on that in a minute. All right. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it? Ian. Are you are you feeling it? Feeling it. Awesome. Let's make this happen. Appropriate music, if you will, Maestro. Wow. The sun. Closing ceremonies this year. We're gonna do a countdown. Let's go. Let's do it for five. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Two hundred and nineteen. Two hundred and nineteen. Two hundred and nineteen. Two hundred and nineteen. Wow. Man, we're
we're getting crazy. <laughs> These closing ceremonies are crazy. Closing ceremony is better than last year. I'm sorry we're late. I needed my coffee, so I told them to hold the ceremonies. My bad. Number two. I had such an awesome time this year that I lost my voice. <laughs> Did you guys have an awesome time too? <laughs> really? That's all the fun you had? That's it. In order for my voice to be better by next year, I'm going to let these two take over. Come on, guys. All right. She never lets us talk. So 
Okay, so um, thank you everybody for being here. This is really cool. Closing ceremonies. Woo, there's me, there's you. Okay, now I have a very special uh, thing. If you fit a size small t-shirt, can you raise your hand? Okay, I'm gonna throw this. Make sure it gets to someone who fits a size small. That was a bad throw. It's okay though, because I have another one. Who else is a small? Bad throws. But uh, great. I'm also throwing this. This is my badge for Brownie Con. Somebody can take it. First come, first serve. There you go. That's for you. That's for you. Okay. Uh, that's all I have. Next we have Andy Price! Uh, can we have some kids? Any kids in the audience? Come on up front. Any young folks? Come on, right up front, right here. Oh, there goes another one. I'm gonna be like the Are you guys sick of hearing me say to you that you're my favorite convention audience yet? No! Okay. So, Grandpa would like to tell you that for 35 years of convention going, this is the best convention staff and audience ever. I say it to you guys every year. And I mean it, we can't do what we do without you. Um, it's not about toys, it's not about cartoons, it's about the friendship, <coughs> because friendship is magic, that you guys share with us. Uh, this is the most creative fandom I've ever, ever come across, ever will come across. And you guys bring it to us, uh, and it means a lot to us. Um, just keep doing what you do. The world outside right now is not great, so let's celebrate the fact that we had this weekend. Keep it going. Push it forward. Bring it forward. Uh, except for you Starlight fans, you people are just wrong. So very, very much for having us. Thank you for bringing me out to the show. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys at every show. I'll see you here next year. that this can happen, we can all be here and have a great time. So huge, huge, huge round of applause, yeah? Yeah! yeah? So, I forgot to mention this at the opening ceremonies, but this marks my 30th convention. Yeah! 
party conventions, and that's that's in like uh, in-person appearances. I've also done like Skype calls to various places. But honestly, it's, this has been going on since 2012 was my first convention, and I just want to say thank you because that's been such a prominent part of my life for you know almost five years now, and I've had such a blast, and I continue to have such a blast with you guys. And it, I, you know, this year I'm realizing how many of your faces I recognize. And it's so awesome because I, you know, every year I get to come to different places and, and uh, catch up with you guys and really thank you for, you know, continuing to invite me to these things. I just, I have such a blast and I hope you guys too. So let's hear it for Bronnie Khan and... Yeah. and yes. But I also have a request for you guys. Aren't you going to come to Bronnie Khan 2018? Oh, yeah. Back. All right, uh, the natural progression. We've got Gabriel Brown. <laughs> yeah! Oh, my goodness gracious. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Well, first of all, I just wanted to start off doing the thing that they do at the Oscars. There are just so many people I want to thank. Um, I wanted to give a huge shout out to the AV staff, the people that made the concert possible. Oh, my gosh. Those of you there, wasn't it incredible? It was so yeah. All the volunteers, everybody who made this possible, I know it just, for something like this to come together, it's an incredible, incredible amount of work. And the people who give them their time selflessly to make this possible for all of us, they're like heroes, you know? This is an amazing thing. And BronyCon is, is a force for good. I, I believe that when there's so much craziness and so much stuff happening in the world. The best way to combat that is by being an example of a positive force and bronies embody that. This fandom is what's, is the good in the world. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a huge, huge honor to be a part of this. I, I want to thank everybody who, who I, who came to see me, everybody who I got to talk to. It's, it's overwhelming. It's humbling. It's remarkable, and I love all of you. You're amazing. Thank you. I'll do a, I'll do a backflip. I'll do, I'm going to do one more backflip for good measure. Okay.
thank you so much to everyone involved, everyone involved running the con, and all of you guys. And this was amazing. I love you. I love you too. I love you too. Amazing guests this year, didn't we? Yeah! We got an autograph. We got a picture. Yeah! Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so you, thing you want to talk about? Yeah, you, um, you might remember if you're at opening ceremonies, but we uh, asked you all to do something. And that was to try something new this weekend. To do something for the first time. Yeah. So, who did something for the first time this weekend? Well, oh, that's, that's a lot of hands. Yeah. Uh, who did something this weekend that they never thought that they would be able to do? That is almost the same number of hands. I'm really happy to see that. Uh, who collected all eight Pokemon badges? Oh, oh not enough for you. Oh. Some, some, some sad aws. I think that was awesome. Should we bring it back? What do you think? Should we bring it back? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll do that. We'll do yes. that. We'll consider that. Yeah. And it's um, public dancing, so that was fun. <laughs> Jenna, what did you do for the first time? I, that's what I was just implying. I publicly danced in front of everyone, which is not really a thing I do. Whoa! <laughs> I'm not going to suffer you all through that. Next year, you should go. It is an awesome time. It's an awesome. How many of you went to the gala? What about uh, Brody Palooza? Yeah! You can go to both. Hey. Oh, hey, Dusty. Hi, guys. What's up? Hi. I wanted to update you a little bit. Sure. Remember all that money you guys gave us? Yeah. You came up with. $1,209.07. Which put us exactly short $10 from $34,000. And seven, no, 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 we got it. It's right here. Here's the $10 for my good friend Full Papers. So you guys raised $34,000.07. Our staff. Uh, it wouldn't happen without them. It wouldn't happen without your attendees too, but our, our staff has worked really hard in the background to make sure everything runs smoothly, uh, and I literally could not do this without them. So I want a big round of applause for our staff. Please. So, if on your way out, you see somebody in a purple or a blue shirt, say hi, give them a high five, and uh, tell them thanks, please. So we wanted to bring a couple of our staff members on stage to thank them as well. Uh, some of our management teams, they are all over other teams, and we thank all of them. They're kind of just representatives of all our departments. So uh, our first department is uh, Valiance. He's our head of con ops. Oh, everyone get up! I'll just name them all. We've got around here. Emily and Lauren, our heads of design. We just assembly. Uh, Josh Dean, as you all know him. And Rachel, our heads of external operations. Oh, let me get up. Troy and Dustin, who are our heads of finance. Some of them are missing on the stage. Oh, there he is. Josh, our head of PR. Wade and Rambo are heads of registration. Dove and Goose are heads of security. 
Sheva and Mike are heads of vendors and the vendor mascot. That's all. Um... <laughs> Andrea and Jeremy are heads of VIPR. VIP Relations. And Grant and Cody are heads of events. Take a bow. We could not do this without them and all of the staff that are under them. Hello again. Why hello? So, this is closing ceremonies, and that means, oh, oops, uh, that means that BronyCon 2017 is over, but we're going to see you all next year, 2018, right here at the Baltimore Convention Center, right? The date's it's the end of July, it should be up on the screen in just a second. Um, Maybe. There we go, there July 27th. July 27th, there's a See us? Go to runningcon.org right now. It is up and ready for you. So you don't have to wait all that long. So thank you, everybody. This has been a really excellent, awesome year. It's been super fun. It's been real awesome. I don't know what to say. Other great words. I hope to see all of you back next year in Baltimore. Are you coming back? Is everybody coming back? <laughs> Thank you for the best weekend ever. Hang on, let me check if my RV is That's really very well, guys. Guys, before we leave, we gotta take another selfie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and go now. All right, so uh, last night when I got back, I didn't get a chance to record more since I got back really late last night, but man, it was worth it because I had such a blast uh, during this trip and in this and now all I have to do is I just have a little more merch that I just want to show you guys that I got from there and see I got got this merch right here this is actually one of my favorite things that I've gotten there this year also I got a Trixie plushie as well it's one of my definitely one of my favorite things that I got this year now and also I got a Twilight Spark new Twilight Sparkle uh poster. That looks man, it looks really nice. And I got a Princess Luna poster as well. And uh there are some comics here in my backpack. Alright. Let's see. Just gonna go ahead and just show these off real quick. So yeah, so that's all I wanted to do to conclude um, my uh, Brewing Con uh, vid. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, all right, thanks guys. All right, bye.